Well, when you come to nerves, nerves are incredibly complex. They have a very intricate uh, construction. They're a woven fiber, but they're woven and woven and woven. There's uh, layers of woven uh, connective tissue associated with nerves. And uh, there are three basic names that we're going to look at today, and they have to do with connective tissue. Nerves are electrical cables that send signals faster than anything we can send. Maybe it approaches fiber optic a little bit. But there are electrical cables that are surrounded in fat. It's an, it's an insulation layer. And so they have a lot of fat in them, and these fat layers are held together by different connective tissues. The outermost one is called epineurium, epi meaning on top of. So it's a neural tissue on top of the entire nerve fiber or bundle. The terms are, are really confusing too. They haven't really settled well in the literature on the terminology. So it gets really confusing. But you have bundles inside the nerve, bundles of fibers that are called fascicles. So a nerve is a grouping of fascicles that are full of these tiny little electrical fibers surrounded in fat. Are right, you with me so far? Okay, this also has its own blood supply, external and internal. They didn't show the external blood supply here, but blood supply often just rides around the outside of this thing. There's a very interesting relationship between blood vessels and nerves. They, they work together synergistically, and it, apparently they actually tell the bone cells when to do things. They're finding this now in the literature, so it's fascinating, but they have internal uh, veins and arteries, and then, of course, the axons that travel. But all this is covered in fat. There's a cell called a Schwann cell, which is a really thin layer of fat, and it wraps itself all the way around the fiber. Just like you would have a coaxial cable, the outer rubber. You ever opened a coaxial cable? Remember when you have to plug your TV into that cable? That cable, if you take a razor and cut that wire uh, carefully, that rubber, you can peel that back and you'll see a really interesting crosshatch pattern inside. You ever seen that on a cable? It's that metal that's wound. Remember that picture, folks. You're going to see it again. Now, nerves are different, especially nerves in ancient bone. They don't behave like some of the tissues behave. By tissues, I mean the cells, the vessels, the veins. I can stain those with tissue stains that we use routinely in the laboratory. They take up the stains. In fact, in our uh, earlier paper in September, we showed vein valves, which are the little valves inside the vein because your, 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 uh, your arteries pump the blood away from the heart, right? But they come back through the veins, right? The blood comes back through the veins. But the veins aren't under the same amount of pressure, right? So they have valves to hold the blood in place while it moves up on its way back to the heart, you see? Uh, we've even stained those little valves with RNA stain, and they were positive. RNA. That was in the previous paper in September. But nerves are different. Nerves, <laughs> they're kind of like noble gases. They don't like to interact with anything. And they don't interact with stains. In fact, one of the stains that they don't interact with is a natural staining that occurs with uh, sugary tissues over time. Uh, you might picture a piece of toast that you toast before breakfast in the morning. And that brown color that comes on those sugars when you heat it. That happens quick in a toaster. Why? We're putting a lot of heat on it fast. But if you put that toast in the, well, it won't last. But if you put a hard tissue in the ground over 100 years, it'll brown. Because it's slowly being toasted. All right? You with me? Okay. Nerves do not respond to that. In fact, there's a nerve in this picture, but you can't see it. This is a vessel. That's a blood vessel. That's a bone cell. This is some tissue with some bone cells in it. Notice their coloration. They're all brown. They brown up over time. That's called advanced glycation end products. Yeah, I don't like to say it either. <laughs> but this is what they say in the literature 
uh, is responsible for the preservations of these tissues.